beautiful gas giant, named after the Roman god Jupiter, fifth planet from the sun, composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, this enormous planet hides a secret, the frozen moon Europa. The surface of this moon is frozen solid, not a good place to look for life. But due to Jupiter's enormous gravity, this moon experiences compression and decompression as it orbits the gas giant, which in turn generates heat. Approximately 20 kilometers below the surface, we expect to find vast amounts of liquid water. More liquid water than we have on planet Earth. And on Earth, where there is water, there is life. Europa is unique because its ocean is believed to be in direct contact with its rocky interior, where conditions could be similar to those on Earth's biologically rich seafloor. There is only one way to find out if there is life here. We have to drill through the ice. If there is life here, we can speculate about what it might look like. Beneath the ice, it will be completely dark. And we could perhaps expect to see creatures similar to that in our deep oceans, using bioluminescence to communicate and for mating purposes, or to attract prey. Beneath this ocean, we could perhaps see colonies of glow-in-the-dark creatures, almost like something from the movie Avatar. Will they resemble life on Earth? Could we expect to find creatures that look like fish or squid? Or are we in for a surprise to find creatures we could not imagine in our wildest dreams, or perhaps nightmares? Will we find nothing? Will we find single-cell organisms, or perhaps creatures larger than our own whales? Maybe there are creatures here smart enough to communicate, like dolphins. Will they swim up to the probe? Will they be scared? Will they reveal their secrets to us? We can only speculate. Will these animals be DNA-based? If they are not DNA-based, it almost certainly means they evolved on their own, which would give us incredible insight into how life develops through complex chemistry. And we can further assume that life is abundant throughout the universe. If these creatures are DNA-based, it could mean that the same life which seeded Earth has been carried to Europa by asteroids in a process called panspermia. It would mean that life evolved in a distant planet and this planet crashed into another planet or small solar body, breaking the planet into fragments which seeded space with frozen fragments carrying life. When these fragments landed on planets and moons with ideal conditions, simple life started, which evolved to more complex life forms. Europa alien organisms could be related to us. Perhaps we will find life on Mars that is also DNA based. Perhaps all life in our solar system has been seeded from the same mother planet. There is only one way to find out for sure. We have to go there and discover. Are we unique? Where do we come from? What is our place in the universe? If there is a supreme being, I suspect this being would be disappointed if he created all this space and we don't explore it. If there is no supreme being, we should be disappointed in ourselves if we don't explore it. Whatever the answers, they are out there and we can find them.